章十五到二十二节。Please turn your Bibles to today's、uh, Bible verse, Hebrews chapter nine, verses fifteen to twenty-two. 我请 Mary 姐妹来用英文来读，中文就来看。The pulpit will be reading from English. We ask that the congregation follow along silently in Mandarin. Verse 15. Therefore, he is the mediator of a new covenant, so that those who are called may receive the promised eternal inheritance, since a death has occurred that redeems them from the transgressions committed under the first covenant. For the, where a will is involved, the death of the one who made it must be established. For a will takes effect only at death, since it is not in force as long as the one who made it is alive. Therefore, not even the first covenant was inaugurated without blood. For when every commandment of the law had been declared by Moses to all the people, he took the blood of calves and goats, with water and scarlet wool and hyssop, and sprinkled both the book itself and all the people, saying, "This is the blood of the covenant that God commanded for you." And in the same way, he sprinkled with blood both the tent and all the vessels used in worship. Indeed, under the law, almost everything is purified with blood, and without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. Sorry, I forgot. I gave him there, and we working on the songs, and I forgot that he didn't、uh, put this in the slides.、Uh, let's pray. We pray. Let's 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 pray. Lord, we thank you for giving us Jesus Christ as the mediator of the new covenant. Let us, these people, these who have sinned against you, be forgiven today and be your children. So that those of us who had once rebelled against you and sinned against you can now, by your redemption, be called your children. Lord, you help us not to boast. 夸耀自己的学历、自己的见识、自己的能力、自己的功德。Let us not boast in our wisdom, in our understanding, in our ability, in our works。而只夸耶稣基督，他的十字架。But we boast only in Christ and His cross。夸他的死和他的活。His death and His resurrection。好，他的能力在我们垂死的人身上，硬币我们，使我们得以有能力来承受那永恒的基业。So that his death can be a seal unto us, that we may one day inherit in his one greatness. 这样祷告，奉那位为我们死而复活的主的名。We pray in the one who died and rose for us. Amen. 继承产业或者继承遗产是一个很热门的话题，对不对 ？Um, the idea of inheritance is a pretty hot topic. 尤其在中国大陆。Especially in mainland China, law and law concepts are very weak. It's it's just slowly transforming into a nation with with laws. But every person is rich. There are many people with wealth. It's not a democratic country anymore. And it is also transforming into a society with personal property. But suddenly, when some old generations die, people do not know what will happen in their inheritance business. And so, as the older generation is passing away, the newer generation is running into many problems that they have no experience in. Uh, I saw a news story. In Hong Kong, a small town, a eighty-five-year-old lady died. I read it on the news the other day that there was a little old lady in this in this town who was, she passed away at at eighty-five. Her 唯一的遗产就是有一千。块钱的人民币作为他的抚恤金、养老金。All she had to her name was was a little bit of you know a little bit of maybe not even two hundred U.S. dollars worth of savings. 但是呢，他的孙子跑了三天没有把手续办下来。And but her her grandson was running around trying to get the paperwork done, but he couldn't inherit this pittance. 问题出在哪里了？卡在哪里呢 ？And so what was the problem? 他们缺一个他外公去世的证明书。外公是二十年前就去世了。Well, they actually need. It turns out that they needed the paper to prove that his grandfather had passed away. 那时候中国的根本不做公证的。Because in those days they didn't have, you know, death certificates. 所以他说，那你现在的母亲呢，就是不是唯一的继承人了，对吧？就是因为外婆去世呢，还有一个有一个问题，就是说
，就是也可能外婆去世，应该外公可以继承遗产。Because you know, the, since the grandmother passed away, the first inheritor is the spouse. 那当这是一件小事，可是呢，最近我看到齐白石的弟子，就是一个一代的国画大师，许灵庐去世了。And of course, this is not a problem just for the average citizen, but for example,、um, one a very famous artist has recently passed away. 那那他这个弟子呢，给他的诗上留下了七十二件的画，还有三把的这个紫砂壶。And so he left behind numerous works of art, including very, three very well-crafted teapots. 比如说，这个齐白石有二十四幅画在他手里，二十四幅齐白石的画。And and of these art artworks, many of them were also artworks of the of the previous master. 还有徐悲鸿的画。Okay. And and many other great masters. 那他这个女儿有有八个，八个儿女哈。The man 发现这是价值连城的礼物。And so the, this man, the man himself, had eight children, and so now they're they're looking at this massive inheritance. 二十一亿人民币 And so this is about over three hundred and fifty million dollars. 所以他们就打官司了 So of course they they took it to the matter to court. 官司到今天还没结束呢 And they're still fighting. 为什么卡在哪里了呢 And so what the what was the problem with with this inheritance? 这个大师给他太太写的这个字条呢？不够清晰，至少说这个法律机关没法辨伪，也没法辨真。They couldn't confirm the the veracity of the man's will. 我相信我绝对不是遗遗产继承专家哈，但是我们都在这里可以有一个观察。I I am no expert in inheritance law. 这两个观察，我第一个我觉得说，继承产业遗产的时候，你首先要跟这个遗产的拥有者有一定的关系。But 继承权。But for, as far as I know, you need at least two conditions to to be an inheritor. First of all, you have to have some kind of relationship with with as an heir. 第二个观察就是说，这个要给你的这个产业拥有者，他是不是建立了一个法定的遗嘱，然后指导将来过世之后的产业分配。And secondly, do you, is there a will? Is there a is there a legally recognized will that that makes you an heir? 其实，我们人类跟上帝之间，这个宇宙万物的创造者、缔造者、维系者、供应者、审判者、拥有者和拯救者，也存在不同程度的关系。And so, such is the way it is with our relationship with God, who is not only our creator, our sustainer, our provider, our judge, and our, our savior, but he also he also owns everything that we are and we have. 我们跟他的关系有远有近。And so we we may we may have good or bad days with him. So this relationship, the 是否正常化决定你能不能够继承产业 And so it is that relationship with him that determines whether or not we are his heirs. 是整个宇宙的继承权 And and this is not a small inheritance. 绝对不是一个小数目 It is the entire universe. 也不是一个暂时的继承权 And it is not temporary. 是存到永永远远的继承权 It is one that lasts eternally. 请问在座有多少有继承权、继承上帝产业的人？举下手。How many of you here are heirs of God？ 好像不太多。我们教会大基督徒这么点儿。OK，OK、okay, okay. okay,。好， so, 请放下。You know, in other words, are you a are you a Christian？ 换句话说，如果你是基督徒的话呢，在新约里的画面里头，就是你罪得赦免，已经上帝和好，你现在成了上帝收养的儿女，所以你能什么继承产业？所以是。And so, as a Christian, since your sins have been forgiven. Uh, you you are in the new you are in the new covenant mediated by Christ, and you have been adopted as children of God. If you have not yet raised your hand, but you also don't have to be sad. You don't have to be sad either. You one day, I hope you raise your hand. We, these raised hands, will definitely not fight for the inheritance. That if one day you also decide, you also repent and, and join the family of God, we will not fight you for this inheritance. Because God is infinitely plentiful. He wants to give us all that we need. God is infinitely plentiful. He wants to give us all that we need. God is infinitely plentiful. He wants to give us all that we need. God is infinitely plentiful. He wants to give us all that we need. For his his wish is for all peoples of all nations and all ethnicities to come together as heirs. So, we're today's topic will be focused on two points. We want to focus on the fact that God through His Son Jesus Christ has completed the work of the Master. We want to focus on the fact that God through His Son Jesus Christ has completed the work of the Master. We want to focus on the fact that God through His Son Jesus Christ has completed the work of the Master. We want to focus on the fact that God through His Son Jesus Christ has completed the work of the Master. We want to focus on the fact that God through His Son Jesus Christ has completed the work of the Master. We want to focus on the fact that God through His Son Jesus Christ has completed the work of the Master.
。第一个果效就是他从我们的过犯中买赎我们，免去了我们这些人的罪。First that he redeemed us from our sins, and so that we are. So that all of our sins have been cleared from the record. 第二个应许是透过那些进入圣约的人，他呼召他们成为上帝的儿女，他们就有了继承他永久产业的权利。And second, he calls us into his new covenant, so that we are now heirs in the new covenant. 简单的说，我们在谈论一个耶稣基督的死。给这个星球上的人类带来的两大益处。And so the what the death of Christ brings to mankind. 我们说新约的中保的受死，这个赎免人的罪。As Christ, the mediator of of the new covenant, for redeems and forgive his people from sin through his death. 新约的中保受死，他来执行这个遗命。And through his death, he brings his people into the eternal inheritance. 好，我们先来看第一个益处。So let us first look at how he redeems and forgives his people. 人跟神现在的关系究竟怎么样 ？So you know, how do you think、oh, generally mankind's relationship with God is going right now? 人跟神的关系在伊甸园的时候是很好的。So we know that at the beginning everything was fine. 大家都知道呢，历史的开头，他们亚当和夏娃有一个显赫的地位。That Adam and Eve had been placed in the garden in a place in a in a position of prominence. They were God's children, but they were not like God. 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 That they were one, not only with God but with all creation, and they had they they had the potential to live forever. 但是自从他们堕落以后，吃了禁果以后，背逆神以后，整个的关系是扭曲了。But after their fall and their estrangement from God, the entire system was thrown out of order. 虽然我们还生养众多，仍然在治理这个世界。Though we are still multiplying and having dominion over this earth. 但是你看人的时候，有很多的问题。You you can you it you know you can just just take a look and everywhere in the world you see mankind having problems. 就像我前面的例子讲的，就光打这个打官司就表明人是多么的贪婪。That you know we we take each other to court over the stupidest things. 就知道我们是真正破产的人。And so we are a people. 是没有产业，所以我们要抓住所有。We are a people who are complete, totally and completely bankrupt. So we. 失去了上帝儿女名分的人就是这样的。We we grab onto everything, and so that is, and that is how we act as people, as children who have lost their heavenly father. So they just 没有办法继承上帝的家产 That they are people, a pe- we are a pe- we were a people who had no inheritance in God. 我们一个多月以前分享了这个希伯来书第七章，在母亲节我们分享了说反叛的儿女怎么回家 So a、um, a month ago we were in. Hebrews chapter seven, and、uh, on Mother's Day, we meditated on how rebellious children can come home. We give two conclusions. One is that it's not by the law of the body that we obey, but by the power of the Holy Spirit. We've already been destroyed. We've already been destroyed. That we came to two conclusions. That first, it was not by the will of the flesh, but by the power of a new life. For we were completely, we were completely corrupt. The second point is that it's not by the law of the old covenant, but by the power of a new life. For we were completely corrupt. The third point is that That second, that we do not rely on the old systems of religion and rites and and、uh, worship, but by the new, by、uh, by the word, by the hope of a new covenant. 两周以前我们讲良心的洁净。Two weeks ago we talked about the cl- the clean the cleansing of the. 就希伯来书第九章的十一节，我来念给大家。And um as as、uh, Hebrews chapter nine verse eleven says. 他宣讲耶稣已经来到，做了将来美事的大祭司，经过那更大更完备的账目，不是人手所造，也不属乎这个世界。并且，不是用山羊和牛犊的血，乃是用自己的血，只一次进入圣所。我们说是天上，成就了永远赎罪的事。But when Christ has appeared as a high priest of the good things that have come, then through the greater and more perfect tent, not made with hands, that is not of this creation, he entered once and for all into the holy place, not by means of the blood of goats and calves, but by means of his own blood. Thus, securing eternal redemption. 换句话说，耶稣基督的死提供了一个完美的洁净剂。That through Christ we have perfect cleanliness. 有能力接近我们无愧的、有愧的良心。
也包括万有。It can cleanse the conscience that had been accusing us. 所以到了我们今天念到了第十五节到二十二节的时候，其实基于前面的讲论做了一个结论。And so,、um, the the verses that we read today, at the beginning of today, it sums up all of these ideas. It 涉及到新新约中保耶稣的死，承担了我们的罪债，的确付清了旧约百姓的债务。That first, that Jesus in His death bore our sins and cleansed and and. Uh, took on all the curses of breaking the covenant. This broken relationship has a very important question: Who will bear the curse? And so, this finally solves the problem of well, who is going to deal with the consequences of breaking the covenant? So, we find that the new covenant is the new covenant. 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 The new covenant is the new So you know, as Hebrews 9:15 tells us, therefore he is the mediator of a new covenant, so that those who are called may receive the promised eternal inheritance, since a death has occurred that redeems them from the transgressions committed under the first covenant. 圣经不断的提醒我们，当一个关系破裂的时候呢，一定要有一个关系的修复。For whenever there is a breaking of of a relationship, a reconciliation must take place for that relationship to be repaired. But this relationship being restored, it is not by our own efforts. But this reconciliation cannot happen on our own. 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 But 舍命流血是跟旧约的献祭流血是有一个类似的方向。That the that Christ, the reason why Christ had to die and shed His blood was an extension of the Old Testament. 但是，就有一个完全不一样的赎罪能力。But the, Christ's death had a power that was above and beyond the power of the Old Covenant. 所以十八节说到说前约也不是不用血力，也以前就是用血力的。And so the new covenant is not new in that the methods were new. So 旧约的人看到那个血就是神跟他们立约了。That the the blood had always been a sign of the covenant. 所以二十二节说，若不流血，罪就不得赦。So without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. 旧约中所有的祭，包括燔祭在献的时候，包包括这个谷物献的时候，都要跟其他的有血的一块献。Every every offering in the old covenant had to be made with blood. 所以二十二节提醒我们，按照律法，凡物差不多都用血洁净。And so almost everything that revolved around worshiping God had to be cleansed with blood. 所以旧约中这个牛羊的血做了一个凭据，说明什么？神那时候实际是忍耐宽容。我们以前讲过了。That the you know that why and so all of those animals died as a sign. That God was being patient with His people. 他每个星期再献一次的时候，就提醒他们什么？我还罪还没有除掉，对，过一个星期又献一次，我的罪还没有除掉，所以他要再献一次。So every offering was a reminder that they were just they were just running on credit, that their sin had not yet been paid off. Good translation. 所以这个时候你发现说整个新约带来耶稣基督的血的时候，这种是我们讲的大功告成的时候了。And so it was only on the on the cross when when Christ gave the cry that it was finished. 但是对旧约习惯了牛羊的祭的这些犹太基督徒来说，这是一个很大的范式转移。But for the for the Jewish people who had 一个模式的转移 ，whose in you know whose entire history had revolved around the old system, this was a very huge paradigm shift. 他们习惯了这种暂时性的这个解脱。For they had already been accustomed to the old rhythm of 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 weekly sacrifices. They had already been accustomed to the old rhythm of weekly sacrifices. They had already been accustomed to the old rhythm of weekly sacrifices. They had already been accustomed to the old rhythm of weekly sacrifices. They had already been accustomed to the old rhythm of weekly sacrifices. They had already been accustomed to the old rhythm of weekly sacrifices. They had already been accustomed to the old rhythm of weekly sacrifices. They had already been accustomed to the old rhythm of weekly sacrifices. They had already been accustomed to the old rhythm of weekly sacrifices. They had already been accustomed to the old rhythm of weekly sacrifices. They had already been accustomed to the old rhythm of weekly sacrifices. They had already been accustomed From Newtonian physics to a relative, 有点像小学生的几何进入大学的什么微积分。It's a little bit like going from algebra to calculus. 是吧？有点类似哈，从平面几何到了空间几何。呃 ，from two to from two-dimensional geometry to three-dimensional geometry. 那其实对中国人或美国人来说，其实在这不同的文化中，我们设罪观的范式也是不一样的。
。所以，当这样说是借着耶稣基督宝血洁净的时候，中国人和美国人其实都不太容易接受。And so, you know, and depending on our cultural hangups, we may not be entirely happy with the idea that we're sinners and our, we have a sin problem that needs taking care. 我先说说美国的文化。You know, for example, American society. 我们现在说犯罪，不太不太愿意说说得犯罪了。We we don't sin is no longer a hot trending topic anymore. Oh, 华尔街当他们偷盗的时候，他们不是偷盗，他们只是说财产转移。You know, you you're no longer you're no you're no longer embezzling or stealing from the company. You're just transferring funds. 当你当你出现婚外情第三者的时候，他们说是一个 fair， 他们不说是一个 adultery. And and so fornication， 他们不说了。And so you know you don't you don't hear people saying they committed fornication or all adultery anymore. It's just an affair. Affair 就是 affair 啊。You know it's it's just a thing that happened. 我们已经削弱这个罪对我们的冲击。That we're we're using all of these euphemisms to reduce the impact of sin on on us. 所以 Jerry Bridge 牧师写过一个说，高尚的罪 ，respect of sin. And so you know, so now we have a thing called respectful sins, as if sins could be respectful. 就是提醒我们那些其实也是罪。That actually a lot of things that we don't consider wrong are actually sinful. 那中国人呢 ？And as、uh, Chinese people. 我们现在很多孩子从小开始背《三字经》了。我小时候没背过。You know that we're we're going back to the old the old days of you know reciting the the uh you know the the childhood education the Confucian idea. 人之初，性本善。That you know,、um, Confucius, being a secular humanist, was very. He believed that humans are born inherently good. So, 即使我们今天承认我们有罪，我们习惯是什么？用自己的行为好事来补偿。That so you know, maybe say, yeah, I might have done something wrong, but I can make up for that, right? 我道歉，我补偿，我将功补过。You know, I can apologize. I can make restitution. I can do something good to offset the bad. 但从水平的角度来说是没有太大的问题的。And so, you know, maybe in daily life, that's that's an okay way to live. 然而，对我们冒犯的对象，如果你明白他是一个宇宙的上帝的时候。But if you if you if you realize that the one that you have truly offended is the creator of the universe. 他是完美的，律法是完美的。That he is the one who is wholly righteous. 你发现这种将功补过的方式根本不管用。That no matter what you do, you could never pay back what you have done wrong. Because this experience, you did a good thing, you got a good result. Because the minute you think that you've done well for yourself, the Holy Spirit starts to remind you that you have many good things to do. You need to change your good behavior. You need to change it. That you actually have to repent of your sinful attitudes before God, even if your actions were right. So you do more, the more trouble you get. So the more you do, the bigger trouble you are in if you're if you're trying to rely on your own righteousness. 但是圣经给我们一个画面是不一样的。And so the 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 Bible gives us a completely different picture. 从旧约到新约是一致的。And it is the same picture from the Old Testament. 这是一个代替的画面。It is a substitutionary death. 我记得我过去牧师带我讲传福音的时候，他这样，他说：“这是我的罪，这么重。”然后呢，耶稣在这儿，然后他承担了我的罪，我的罪没了，我的罪归他了。And so I remember when my pastor, you know, when I was getting the the gospel preached to me, he gave me this picture that my sin was this huge, heavy thing that I could not, I could not hold by myself, but Christ took on that burden on my behalf. So, 就换句话说，这个不是立功之法，也不是自己建一个贞洁牌坊。And so, you know, it is not it is not righteousness that that can be accomplished by our own effort. 说牛羊的血洒在书上，洒在百姓身上，这血是神与我们立约的凭据。That in the old covenant, the blood of goats and cows were were sprinkled on all of the holy items and on the people themselves. 这指向十字架上耶稣基督的赦罪。This was a this was pointing to the to the death of Christ on the cross. 圣灵把它洒在我们心上，让我们的心得以洁净。And so now the Holy Spirit. Anoints us with the blood of Christ. 换句话说，基督徒有一个贪婪，那不，我用的贪婪不太合适，但是有一个愿望，有一个意愿。So that as Christians, we all have a hope inside of us. 我们是来瓜分耶稣基督宝血的功德库的人。That we are, we are people who, 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 who can. 你想想，我们是来瓜分他宝血功德库的人。We are people who can rely on, on, on the works of Christ. 承认我们在道德上、行为上是破产的人。Because we are morally and and ethically bankrupt. You 对中国人难不难 ？And this is a very hard 
uh, obstacle to overcome. Chinese people are so nice. They admit that they can't. And it's really especially hard for a Chinese person to admit to other people that I'm actually not as great. I'm 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 not as For God, it is simple for to turn our hearts around, but for us to try to do it ourselves, it's impossible. Because you know, no person, no matter what what culture they're from, wants to admit that they are completely helpless before God. Because you know, no person, no matter what what culture they're from, wants to admit that they are helpless before God. Because you know, no person, no matter what culture they're from, wants to admit that they are completely helpless before God. Because you know, no person, no matter what culture they're from, wants to admit that they are completely helpless before God. Because you know, no person, no matter what culture they're from, wants to admit that they are completely helpless before God. Because you know, no person, no matter what culture they're from, wants to admit that they are completely helpless before God. Because you know, no person, no matter what culture they're from, wants to admit that they are completely helpless before God. Because you know, no person, no matter what 所以你们如果是接受这样赦罪的人，就是我们说什么？神的恩典已经领到你了。And so we are we are people who are saved by grace. 我们说这个恩典领到丁弟兄，领到李弟兄，领到张姐妹身上了。And this is the grace that has fallen on each and every one of us who are children of God. 这个时候我们跟上帝的关系才正常化。And this is what normalizes our relationship with God. 这个使者是耶稣。And this, and the ambassador of this covenant. 不然我们根本没有资格谈继承产业的事。And it is only because we have this relationship with God that we can we can talk about an inheritance. 我们跟他远到一个地步，圣经说我们是他的仇敌。For we had once been God's enemies. 你们没有多少人相信这个真的。And you know, so we don't often think about that. 但圣经是这样讲的。But that's what the Bible tells us. We most often just put God in a place where He doesn't offend us, He doesn't offend us, so you don't feel that He has a threat to you. You know, we 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 try to put God in this little box, thinking, you know, we can have neutral relationships with God, that He doesn't affect me, I don't affect Him. But the Bible says that God is perfect. But in fact, He 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 is perfect. But But God has forgiven our sins. 亲近到一个地步，不光是我们洁白无瑕了。He has cleansed. He has come so close to us that not only are we clean. 我们开始得到上帝的赦免了。We and we we have the re, we have the forgiveness of God and the redemption of God. 我们开始进入一个全新的关系。We are entering into a new relationship. 这种关系就是你是上帝的儿女。换句话说，你是王子，你是公主。That we 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 are we are becoming children of God. We are princes. Prince and princesses, princes and princesses. Sorry, <laughs> of God's kingdom. 真的，我说过这个故事很多次，也待会儿我再讲一遍。我有一次到一个地方去讲道，呃，一个姐妹在癌症中，她的丈夫离弃了她，丈夫也不信主。And so I was, I was, um, I had gone to the church to preach, and one of the sisters there, she was, she was, uh, she had cancer, and her husband was not yet a believer. 然后别人就要来辅导她，那个教会没有牧师。And that church didn't have a a pastor, and so she she had she had need of uh, a lot of uh, counseling. 然后我就最后给他讲到，他是不是上帝的儿女啊？有确据啊，这些灾难啊，甚至那种诗歌，刚刚刘全带我们唱的，我们都说到。And so we we had a lot. We had a very long talk about her assurance as a as a child of God. You know, and how and what what. What to do when when she faces trials and tri 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 Aren't you a child of God? So, so many things we don't even believe he is God's daughter. So sometimes, you know, we don't actually truly believe it in the in the deepest parts of our heart. Oh, the next story I won't tell you. So I'm um I'm I I won't tell you the rest of the story right now. Let's come back to verse fifteen. He said, "After the sin of the unborn child was killed, he sent forth his servants to gather the grapes and to gather the grapes from the vine." So that you know, he accomplished the new covenant, and he called. So that you know, he accomplished the new covenant, and he called. To those who 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 receive the eternal inheritance. 换句话说，立约的中保之死不光解决了负面罪要受到惩罚这个咒诅的问题。
So the, the, the death of the mediator, he, it solved not only the negative consequences of sin. That it has also brought something positive. 就是蒙召之人要承受上帝的产业的，永远的产业。That those who are those who are called are to be inherit his his inheritance forever. 我们中间的很多人要做这样一个范式的转移，像那个姐妹一样，意识到上帝的儿女是什么样一个特权。And so we we too, like this sister, need to experience truly and deeply that we are children of God. 继承产权一定要是儿女。Because it is only the children who can be heirs. 上帝的产业有什么呢 ？And so, what is what is God's inheritance? 上帝自己。First, God Himself. 上帝的儿女是产业，上帝的疆界，整个的宇宙，将来的新天新地，都是我们的产业。And and of course, all creation, the entire universe. 所以新约说，虚心的人有福了，他们必什么承受土地，是 inherit the earth. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. 问题在于怎么样来承受这个遗命。So how do we become heirs? 这个十六节是关键，十六十七节。Verses sixteen. 我来读一下中文。凡有遗命必等到留遗命的，或者说原文跟约字相同的人死了。十七节，因为人死了，遗命才有效力。若留遗命的尚在，那遗命还有用处吗？ And so, where for where there is a will or a covenant involved, the t- the death of one who have made it must be established. For t- a will takes effect only at death, since it is not in force as long as the one who made it is alive. 好，这个遗命在希腊文里呢，跟对应旧约的这个 berit 那个约的意思。And so the the testament the is is the same thing as the covenant or the will. 那在在新约中这个词呢，这个希腊文呢有两个含义，不光是约，还有一个是遗命，就是说是遗言，是遗嘱。And so that is reflected in both the original language and also of the Old Testament, and also in the translated in the translated、uh, allusion to the Old Testament in the New Testament. 所以希伯来的读者，现在作者就开始把他的读者带入到另一个境界，要按照当时的文文景象来告诉他们，究竟这个约还有一个含义，你们原来没有看到的。And so the the writer of Hebrews is pointing out that the covenant here is not simply a a a living covenant. 他说这个条款约中条款祝福的部分要分给这个分配的方式，如同一个家主，要按照他的遗命来分给他的后裔。That the blessings of the will are are like the the items in a in a the blessings in the covenant are like the items in a will. 但是这个遗命永远是一个约定，一纸空文。如果这个主人不死的话。But the will is and but until the one who who made the will dies, the will is nothing but a. 产业是不能分的。The the the inheritance still belongs to the man himself. 我记得这个一九九九年，我跟徐光去中国，呃，去这个缅甸第二次短宣，我把两个孩子留在家里，跟我的父亲在一起，在 Columbus。呃 ，1999, me and my wife went to Myanmar for a short mission trip, and so I left my children in in Columbus, Ohio, with my father. To, 这是我们俩第一次出去，所以我有一个危机意识，说如果我的飞机突然从雷达里消失了呢 ？And so, you know, on the plane, I I suddenly. I suddenly realized. Wait a minute. What happens if something happens to this plane? Ah, if we are in the sea, we are being attacked. You know, we are really going to the sea. You know, what, what if, what if we, we, we get kidnapped while we are there? What are going to happen to my children? Because at the time, I didn't have a will. Because at the time, I didn't have a will. Because at the time, I didn't have a will. Because at the time, I didn't have a will. Because at the time, I didn't have a will. Because at the time, I didn't have a will. Because at the time, I didn't have a will. Because at the time, I didn't have a will. Because at the time, 没有遗嘱的话，按照联邦法的话，孩子当时会被社公园带去，我们的财产呢由政府来照管。And so, you know, in the, in in case of the will, the American law goes like this: the children, you know, the 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 children become wards of the state, and they get taken away by social services, and and the money get also gets taken. You know, the 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 government becomes the the the、uh, the manager of the estate. 所以我们家的孩子云云和雷雷呢，爷爷奶奶、外公外婆虽然爱他们，但是他们没有办法抚养，因为他们不在美国。And so, you know, though both of both my parents and my wife's parents, they were they would have been very glad to take care of of my children on my behalf because they were not American citizens. They didn't live in the United States. They had no say. You know, what took care of them. 
And so what did I do? 然后就是用那个 Lucen 的那个 benefit 的，马上找一个律师，然后搞了一个，搞了一个那个约。我们家现在还有呢。So the first thing, so the first thing I did when I got back to my the states was I found a lawyer and and I wrote up a will. 顺便说一句啊，如果你在美国生活，有一点点家产。你孩子还小，你应该立一个遗嘱。And so, as an aside, I would like to encourage all of you to 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 establish a will. 找个律师或者买个软件。That you know. 我帮你公证一下就行了。That um, you know, you you um, I suggest you you know you find a lawyer or you can you can do it, you can do it yourself now. All you need is a you know all you need is a notary, and we have plenty of those here in this church. 呃，我我在这个第三千几年施工哈，我们这个总裁 Richard Pry 经常去国外侍奉。Um, I also work at Third Millennium Ministries, and our 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 uh, president Richard Pratt often goes overseas to serve. 他每次走的时候都半开玩笑说，如果我遇难了，飞机出事儿了。And so every time he goes out, he always he always kind of jokes around about about you know if in case of something terrible happens, God forbid. 他说这个呀， yeah, 他说保险公司会跟他妻子和四个没有两呃 two million dollars. That he, you know, that he's he's actually worth more dead than alive because he he's got insurance on him. 当然他不出事，我们没法拿这个遗产。And of course, you know. Don't tell me, I tell this. But if 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 nothing happens to him, of course, then we can't get that money. 所以这个是十六世纪现在讲的，就是说这个遗遗嘱要生效，一定要立遗嘱的人死了才行，不然。And so, and so that the Bible, and so that was the way it was in in ancient cultures. That the the will, the will is still just a piece of paper until the person who wrote the will passes away. So we today are from different perspectives, from the New Testament view of the New Testament. Why? 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 Uh, John Piper thinks that there were at least five reasons we 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 look at from this. 第一个理由就是当时人是活在希腊文化中的犹太人，他们知道这个词的主要的含义是约的概念，他们没有从这个角度来讲，没有从这个移民的角度来看。And that first of all, that the people, the Jews who lived in those days, they knew what a covenant was, but they were not familiar with the idea of a will. 第二个理由就是说，新约的根基呢是用耶稣基督的死和宝血来设立的，所以这种的遗嘱让新约能够生效，这跟旧约是一致的，必须要流血。That second, the new covenant being established by the death and and of Christ is, you know, the way that it it works out is similar to the way a will works. 所以第三个理由说，整个的旧约的设计也是关系到生命的死亡，才能够界定新约，和界定旧约。Third, that the old covenant was also established on on death and on blood. So, 提醒在整个的旧约献祭中，提醒将来有一个祭来完成他们永远献不完的祭。And that all of those sacrifices were pointing to a future final sacrifice. 他们都在期待有一个重要的人物，就是弥赛亚的出现。They were all looking forward to that promised one to come. 无论是亚当的约、挪亚的约、亚伯拉罕的约、摩西约、大卫约，都需要用血来建立。So whether it be Adam, Noah, Abraham, Moses, or David, they all had covenant with God via the blood of animals. 第四个理由。The fourth. 跟我们现在今天的讲道更有最有关系的、最密切的。Which is the most, you know, which has the most to do with with the verses that we're reading. 他做了新约的中保，便叫蒙召之人得着所应许的永远产业。And that as the mediator of the new covenant, he calls those who are chosen to inherit with him. 所以，在这个遗命或者约书中，一定告诉是什么样的人能够继承这个上帝的产业，什么样的人能够得到什么，得到什么样的产业。So, and and the two most important aspects of a will is number one, how do you qualify as an inheritor? 我接下来会展开讲。What are you inheriting? 我接下来讲这个第五个理由，是一个隐含的。And the fifth one is a, it's more hidden. 立遗嘱的人会不会跟这些下面的人商量他怎么立？ When 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 a man is making when someone is making a will. You 回到旧约的时代，新约的是两千年以前。When someone is making a will, do they do they ask anyone else for an opinion about who they should include in this will? 上帝是立约的，他跟他的儿子在永恒中立了这个约。That God made this covenant first in eternity between Him. 在永恒中已经写上了哪些人是他要救赎的人。That they've already they've already made that eternal decision. They want to inherit what kind of and what kind of inheritance that they are to have. They are inheritors. They have no voice in this decision. And we as heirs, we have we had no voice in this decision. 
所以没有说妈，你为什么生我是个女孩？为什么生在美国？为什么生在中国？那你妈决定的，不是你决定的。Just like we can't determine when we are born, where we are born, you know, what kind of person we are born as. 真这个奖赏也是一样。还记得约翰和雅各跟他的母亲一块来问过耶稣，说将来在你得荣耀的时候，荣耀宝座能不能让我们坐你的左右 ？So you know, we remember James and、uh, John came to Jesus and said, you know, when you come to glory, can we sit at your left and right? 他绝对比我们在座的人聪明的多了。他知道将来那个荣耀大过今天的荣耀。And You know, and we shouldn't look down on their ambition because they had faith to believe that Christ was indeed coming in glory, and this was a great glory. But Jesus, how did he say it? So what did Jesus say? 其中一句话重要，他说：“坐在我左右的不是我可赐的，乃是为谁预备的就赐给谁。” It is not for me to decide, for me to grant to sit at my left and right. 子都说我没有这个权利。For whom it was prepared. 所以这是上帝跟他儿子立的约中，约书中有那些被拣选的人，盟约。爱的人。So all the decision was all in the hands of God the Father. 好，那么我们在这个遗命中究竟怎么继承？这继承一说起来有很多的问题。我跟师母说，我在讲道理。我说，那你这个例子有问题啊！上帝不能死啊！你说这个主人要死，这怎么回事？哈，所以我必须要解释这个我太太。And so, yeah, so there's a couple of questions that naturally arise if we look at this. At, you know. If we take the metaphor a little bit too too literally, we're like, wait a minute. If 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 the will needs somebody to die for it to take place, how? But God's the one writing the will. How can God die? 上上帝会有一天死了，然后把产业交给别人。You know, is God some someday going to suddenly drop dead and leave us to run things by ourselves? 答案简单的肯定是否定，不会的。如果上帝有一天不存在，一秒不存在，整个宇宙就没了。And you know, we know that God is the sustainer of the universe. If, if he ever even ceased his sustaining work for ever, even a slightest moment, he would all be He is one who exists eternally. But we know that God, the Son, died. But we know that God, the Son, Christ Jesus, indeed did die. But we know that God, the Son, Christ Jesus, indeed did die. But we know that God, the Son, Christ Jesus, indeed did die. But we know that God, the Son, Christ Jesus, indeed did die. But we know that God, the Son, Christ Jesus, indeed did die. But we know that God, the Son, Christ Jesus, indeed did die. But we know that God, the Son, Christ Jesus, indeed did die. But we know that God, the Son, Um, as as、uh, Hebrews chapter twelve verse fourteen tells us, 儿女既同有血肉之体，他也照样亲自成了血肉之体，特要借着死败坏那掌死权的，就是魔鬼。Uh, sorry, fourteen.、Um, fourteen. Yeah.、Uh, this side. Okay. Since therefore the children share in the flesh and blood, he himself likewise partook of the same things, that through death he might destroy the one who has the power over death, that is the devil. 所以我们只能说，在基督里，上帝经历了死亡的滋味，好像用死来吞灭死亡罪的果效。And so it is through Christ that 这是一个奥秘。That God, that uh, the this great mystery of the death of God took place. 第二个问题，这不是我太太的，这是我的问题。谁是这个移民的执行者 ？So who are the heirs of God? 遗命都是一个活人执行的。立约的中保是耶稣基督，他真死了。And so you know, not only do you have, not only so after a man dies, you still need someone to ex execute his will. So who's the executor of God's estate? 究竟是谁执行这个遗言呢 ？Who is the one who makes sure that all of the items of the will come true? 我觉得耶稣说是他自己。We, and Jesus Christ points to Himself. In this Matthew 福音二十一章三十三节，他讲了一个比喻。这个比喻就是叫一个家主栽了一个葡萄园，然后租给了园户，然后去国外了。And so in、uh, Matthew chapter twenty-one, verse starting from verse thirty-three, he talks about the parable of the of the、uh, the grape, the vineyard, grape、uh, yeah, the vineyard, and then, how he had rented the vineyard out to 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 some laborers. And then he left for a distant country. In this parable, it's very clear that the owner is God. And so the owner was God. The son is Jesus. 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 And so, you know, so in in the in the、uh, in the parable, 
God had sent his, the, the owner had sent his servants, and all the servants got killed. So he finally, he sent his own son. And, 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 and so the renters are like, well, wait a minute. This is the son. If we kill him, we get to take over this property. So in this time, Jesus, in the end of this parable, he said in the 10th chapter, he said, the stones of the stones have been made of the stones of the stones. It's made of the stones of the stones. It's made of the stones of the stones. It's made of the stones of the stones. Have you ever heard of this? So as, the, as Psalm 42 says, that the stone the builders rejected have instead become the cornerstone, the foundation of the house. 换句话说，耶稣他自己是成了什么？神国的奠基石，教会的根基。That Christ has become the foundation cornerstone of the church. 这这条虽然没有讲到耶稣基督复活，但你看上下文就知道，耶稣基督复活以后是来分赐执行这个遗命的人。And so, while these verses are not clear in 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 talking about Christ's resurrection, it's implied in that you know, for him to be the executor of the will, he has to be alive for that to happen. 记得在前言的时候，如果你翻到前言第一第二第第一章的第二节，就说又早已立他为承受万有者。希伯来书的前言第一章的 ，I think it's second. Yeah. So in in, in chapter one, verse two. You know that he, in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son, whom he has appointed the heir of all things. 第三节就连说，他洗净了人的罪，就坐在高天至大者的右边。And after making purifications for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the Majesty on high. 所以这整个前言告诉我们，耶稣是谁？作为长子，他从死里复活。That as God's firstborn, he came, he rose from the dead. 在亚当的位份上，在这个末后亚当的位上承受产业，做长子。As the last Adam, he became the legal heir of the inheritance. 把旧约中所有应许给亚伯拉罕、应许给大卫的，分赐给我们这些信靠他的人。And he became the one who who could ex execute all of the promises from Adam to Christ. 他在上帝的右边掌管万有。And he sits at the right hand of God to rule all things. 还记得约翰福音说：“我去为你们预备地方。” That remember, Jesus promised that I go. I go and prepare a place for you, so you know you don't have to worry about your. 什么是基督第一个分给我们的产业呢 ？Well, what was the very first taste of that inheritance? 就是差遣圣灵在我门外叩门，不是吗 ？First was the Holy Spirit into our lives. 重生罪人。He to to re to give us rebirth. 住在我们里面，洁净我们。To live to dwell inside of us and to cleanse us. 所以以弗所书说，我们圣灵住在我们里面是什么？得救的凭据、印证是基业、预尝福金、首付，就中国的话就是首付 ，first down payment。And so the the、um, Ephesians tells us that the Holy Spirit came into us as a guarantee or you know a, a down payment of the future of the future inheritance。所以圣灵就我们产业的第一步就是承接圣灵。And so the, first, the very first thing we got as as the heirs of, of God is the Holy Spirit. So, until God's people, or the God's people, the land is his. We are his land. And you can see that we are his land. And so we ourselves are that inheritance. That we all belong to one another. And so, you know, that's why we we are ought, ought to treat each other well while we're here. 最后，究竟谁是上帝一命成熟的儿女呢？哪些人能够成熟产业 ？And so, who are those those heirs of God? 究竟上帝是不是有特定的把一些特定的人名字写在生命册上 ？That who who are the ones whose names are written in that will? 写在那个约书上。Who are written on on the book of the testament? 还是说上帝这个遗言呢？就是立约呢？无法确定，这个名单不不详。Or is, you know, it, or or is is it is it kind of unclear? You 觉得上帝是什么样的呢 ？So what kind of God is is he? Is he? 耶稣基督怎么说 ？What did Jesus say? 说那些被他招的人都是上帝给他的礼物。That all those who come before him are have been called to be given to him by by God the Father. 所以答案很清楚，十五节就讲了蒙招的人。Those, 被圣灵所呼召的，被福音所呼召的人，这些人是在永恒中，上帝就写在这个生命册上的。Those who are called by the Spirit are the ones who have their names written in the book. 如果你现在的心灵被感动，说你要承受将来永远永远的基业。That if as you're listening to this 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 
sermon today and you feel that stirring in your heart, you say, "Yeah, that sounds really good. I want to be part of that." That's the Holy Spirit. 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 That's the
Today is the day of adoption. I pray to God that He gives you an appetite for the Spirit of God. That one day you too can eat and drink of the abundance of Christ. I pray to God that He gives you an appetite for the Spirit of God. That one day you too can eat and drink of the abundance of Christ. I ask for God to open the ears of your spirit. 听到上帝恩惠的福音。That you can hear the gospel of God's grace. 我求圣灵打开你们属灵的眼睛。I ask that God open the eyes of your spirit. 看见上帝永恒产业的荣耀。That you see the glory of His inheritance. 悔改信靠为你死为你活的主。And that you repent and believe in the Christ who died and rose for you. 我们来祷告。Let us pray. 主，我们谢谢你。Lord, we thank you. You have loved us. When we were your enemies, you did this for us. Your love for us is like the sea. 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 Your love for us is That he to call those who did not raise their hand, saying that they were an heir of Christ of God's kingdom. If today you have you understand what the gospel is, that his son died for you. If you understand, you need to know if you are if you understand for the first time that you can be a child, an heir of God. You can raise your hand right now. You can raise your hand right now. You can raise your hand right now. 说我要做上帝的儿女，有没有这样的朋友 ？Is there anyone here who says yes? I want to be a child of God. 如果有这样的朋友，请你举手，我们为你祷告。If you are like that today, you can raise your hand and we will pray for you. 感感谢主，有这样一位，举高一点。还有吗 ？Is there anyone else? 还有吗？如果还有这样的人，我们为为你祷告。If if if today you have heard his voice, we will pray for you. 好，主，我们为。这位今天来接受你的人来感恩。Lord, we thank you for this one who has come to to accept you. 你成了他的中保。You have become his mediator. 你成了他的依靠。You have become their reliance. 不光他的罪得赦免。Not only are their sins forgiven. 他可以按着你的应许，成为你的家中的一员。But by your promise, they can be part of your family. 求主你坚固他，保守他。Lord, we ask that you strengthen them and keep them. 直到他的罪被赦免。Until their sins have been forgiven. That your grace has already come onto them. 愿主你不断的向他显明你的恩惠。And that Lord, we ask that you continue to show them your grace. 使用你恩惠的管道就是听到读经，在教会的聚会。That through hearing the word and reading the word and and being in fellowship with with all with the body of Christ. 求你圣灵在他的心中工作。That you work with him, and you also and you also put your spirit into him. 把他塑造成你爱子耶稣基督的模样。And that so that they can become the likeness of Christ. 用祷告奉主耶稣基督的名。In Christ Jesus' name, we pray. Amen.